What I loved about it is that the speakers had a practical message as well as, well as an inspirational one. Um, and each speaker came with their own story, with their own life story, which made what they were doing more interesting to me. How do we capitalize on what works to produce and maintain the attitude of an overcomer? One thing I can tell you is that I would never be where I'm at today if I didn't take some risks and be uncomfortable. We got all, all the organizational tools figured out, how to, how to report, um, who is accountable to who, and when you can put these things in place, then you can create a healthy culture. Because if you can't do that, then you'll never be able to walk away. I realized that passion was energy. That if you feel passion for something, say you have a vision of what you'd like to do with your life, and you settle for half of it in the name of being realistic. So you say, well, I can't, I'll never find that. I'll never find that. So you decide to cut your vision in half. Well, then you don't have as much of an appetite to find it. Passion is energy and it breeds determination and persistence. I can't imagine a more conducive environment to connecting with other human beings. We're surrounded by redwood trees, which are so powerful and so beautiful. And this is a, the type of environment that you can be still enough to really receive the kinds of messages that the talks and the speakers were delivering this weekend. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's green, it's sharp and it's a wonderful place to, to retreat to and really spend the kind of weekend that we've spent together thinking about our futures and building a better tomorrow. Say hello to everybody. Hello, hello. everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. Thank you. Show them how you love you.